this is the Remington Sportsman Model 48 making this video. Show you how to assemble and disassemble the shotgun. Okay, so you pull out this piece, you just pull it out, it comes out really easy. Take this cap off, make sure the spring doesn't go flying. like that. Pull the wood off. The barrel comes out along with the bolt. And then from there you can just go ahead and clean out whatever, clean the bolt. In order to get this gun back together, you're going to have to pull out the trigger mechanism. So you'll need a, something to punch pins out. And this one comes out rather difficult, so I have to have a pair of grippers. Okay, then trigger mechanism lifts easily out. You can clean that, whatever, do your thing. Now, getting this... Ooh, there's another piece in here. Now getting this thing back together is a trick, and this gun actually came to me because the fella took it apart and couldn't get it back together, so I got it back together for him. Okay, so we've got the gun apart now, and the bolt out, put it all back together. Make sure that when you slide this bolt back in, that both the right and the left slide are locked firmly into their slot. Okay, at this point you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers. There are is the right and left link on the bolt. These two prongs stick out about six inches from the bolt. Now the right and left link have to be contained in this small metal tube. This tube sinks back into the stock, enabling you to fully charge the shotgun. So we're, what we're going to need is we're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. We're going to grip the needle nose pliers right here on the right and left link up high where the skin is where they can come up and meet. And then we're going to put them into this metal tube. So have the bolt slid up a ways so that you can come down into the metal tube. Make sure you grab the right and left link evenly so that they will both want to come in easily. And slide, once you have them lined up, slide the bolt back into the metal tube. At, that, at this point, we turn our attention to the trigger mechanism. Before you put, can put the trigger mechanism in, you'll need this metal piece, and you'll need to reinsert that, line that up with the hole that the large pin or, uh, yes, no, the small pin will, the small pin will hold that piece in with the trigger mechanism. So, make sure the trigger mechanism is cocked before you put it in. That just makes it easier to line up. Set the trigger mechanism in. The large pin in first. Go for the small pin. There you have it point you can then insert the charging handle and rack the shotgun. From here it's pretty straightforward. The trick that most people need to learn is to put the right and left link into the metal tube so that you can charge the shotgun. If you're having trouble with the shotgun, like say if you pull the trigger and the gun won't go off, then the trouble very well could be that the two links that we put in the gun earlier, those two links are too tight together. Now what happens is the hammer is, goes between those two links, right in between, down the middle. And if those links are too tight, every time you pull the trigger, then what happens is it hits those two links 
and either rubs him so hard that it doesn't have enough force to hit the firing pin and make the shell go off, or it'll just block the transfer of power altogether. So what you need to do is you need to pull this, you'll need to pull this uh, trigger mechanism out, and then you'll need to spread the links apart. Uh, you can you can do that while they're in place by taking a pair of needle nose pliers, sticking the needle nose pliers in between the two links, and then spreading the needle nose pliers out. And that works great. And I had that problem with this shotgun. I got it all back together. And once I got it back together, the links were just too tight, and I couldn't fire the shotgun until I fixed those links. So. Uh, it also fixed an ejection problem for me because uh, every time that the, the bolt would draw back, then what was happening was it had all the friction of rubbing against those links really hard, and it was taking away the gas that should have been blowing the bolt back and ejecting the shell. So. It all kind of comes together, and in order to have a good, smooth working gun, it all, everything needs to function together and work nicely as it should. So that's just another small tip for this gun.